Hello everyone, welcome to free Selenium training. In this video, we are going to talk about the Selenium topics and here you will see different blocks related to Selenium. So just to go through these blocks, come to this qaonlinetraining.com and here in this section, start your free training now in this section, just click on for, for more free trainings, here you'll get the blocks. So basically the blocks are in two categories. One is manual and the rest, next one is Selenium. So click on the Selenium to get the Selenium blocks. So here you have multiple of blocks. So we'll be going through each and every blocks in our videos. So today we'll go for the first block that is Selenium web driver test cases. So in this video, we'll see that how the test cases are written and the descriptive part of the test cases. So welcome to this Selenium web driver testing free training series. And in this tutorial, we are going to talk about how to write the first Selenium web driver code with programming language. So first we need to know that what's required for writing this codes. So the first thing that's required is the JDK 11. Second thing, intermediate knowledge of Java. Third, the Eclipse software. Fourth, the Eclipse project with Selenium jar files. Fifth, the Chrome browser. and the next you need the chrome driver with chrome browser so to download this chrome driver you can go to this particular link and download the driver from there based on the version of your chrome browser now before writing code let's have a quick discussion on what is selenium web driver and why it is famous in testing industries so selenium web driver is an open source tool that is used to test web applications now the selenium web driver tool is used for automating web application testing to verify and validate the expected outcome. It primarily supports browsers like Firefox, Chrome, Safari, and Internet Explorer. It also allows you to execute cross-browser testing. So basically in the Selenium web drivers, it's similar to the browsers what we have in our system, and just it helps us to test different test cases and validate validate the expected outcome. Now, when we talk about the Selenium web drivers, so we need to know that these drivers are supportable in which languages. So the languages that support the drivers are the Java, c -Sark, Ruby, Python, JavaScript. Now to get more details, you can refer to the re this URL. This is the official URL for Selenium. And in the documentation, you can read more about the Seleniums. Now here, first we will go to, we'll come to a famous question that is, why is it, why this Selenium web driver is so famous in testing industry? Now the reason is very simple. It's a open, open source tool. Second, it provides multilingual pro programming supports. Now further, it supports multiple OS like Linux, Unix, Mac, and Windows. So it's like we can use this Selenium codes in different operating system. It supports all major browsers so that you can test on Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Opera, Internet Explorer, Edge, and many more. Now, when you execute cross-browser testing of website, it provides you with an automated solution. Fifth, it can be integrated with various frameworks like Maven or, or Ant. Now, the best thing about the Selenium is that you can use with different frameworks, and the framework is the most important thing that's used or that's supportable in any programming languages or any testing cases. Now, for example, testing and reporting, it can be integrated with testing frameworks like TestNG and JUnit. So for continuous integration or continuous delivery, it can integrate with Jenkins for automated build and deployment. So there are different processes where you can use it. As well as it's user friendly to Selenium web driver is one of the benefit of Selenium web driver for automating tests. The test scripts written in Selenium web driver supports cross-browser testing, so a tester can run multiple test scenarios since it covers every functionality testing aspects. The web drivers provides the benefit of speeding up the tech cycles by leveraging the development code. Testers can use the language used by the developers. So it's like now here, the developers and testers can easily communicate by using the web drivers. Now that's the best thing about the Selenium and the drivers that's supportable in the Selenium. Now just to understand brief about the Selenium web drivers, just we'll go through one code and we'll see what we are using in this code. So this is a simple code where we are trying to open a Chrome browser, just a Google Chrome browser. 
So here, just have passed the link of browser. So let's understand each and every lines one by one. So the first line that is system dot set properties. Here we set the path of driver. If you see the path of the driver is set, and the location of the driver is set. Basically, the location where the Chrome driver is set. So that location is passed in system dot set property. So this location, what I have shared, this is the location of my system. So it's like in your cases, you need to set the location of your uh, Chrome driver where it is placed in your complete system. The second one is Chrome driver where I'm creating the object of Chrome driver just to uh, just to create the object, just like we are creating the objects to help to automate to move to different parts of the web pages. So basically to use this Chrome driver class, we need to import this package that is org.openqa.selenium.chrome.chrome driver. So this is the package that contains the Chrome driver. Now the third part, that is driver.get. And this is the most important part. In this part, basically we pass the link of the website and based on the links what we have passed, that that particular browser opens. That's the steps basically we perform. The, these are the first steps you can say that we perform while writing a test cases. So this is the beginning. So first thing is like we need to set the path, then create the object, and third, we need to pass the web, the link of the browser, the browser which we are trying to open. So as in conclusion, you can say that it's like very easy to open a browser and just you can copy this code and try at your system and see how it's working. So this is all about the test cases uh, in Selenium web drivers. In my next blog, I'll be talking about the next topics. So stay tuned and hit the subscribe button to get the late, uh, update of the next topics of the blogs. That's all from this video. Thank you.